What up peeps, it's Phil Phil back again with another video uh, and in this one I'm going to be covering the MPC 500 again however this time I'm going to show you how I record my tracks into Ableton and uh, people have different methods of doing this and you can possibly use the same method into your own DAW that you use like Logic or Fruity Loops or something um, and yeah, it's super simple, so let me just show you. Okay, so I have the MPC 500 here, and uh, before recording into Ableton, since we're going to be using uh, a MIDI cable as in this example, uh, I can see one right over here, um, we have to set it up in the MIDI sync menu. So you go to MIDI sync, and I just leave, I just like to leave receive channel on all uh, soft through as track pad to sampler and then sync has to be in slave not master uh, and this is the default note button side and if you want to reset it then you can do it but I just want to leave it in sync for now uh, slave sync slave <laughs> and uh, yeah so uh, I'm just going to show you what I have right now. All right. So yeah, so let, let's just set up our sampler. So let's just put the MIDI in to the MPC from the MIDI out of my um, audio interface to USB MIDI device, which is this, the Focusrite 2i4. Um, see the cable, see I have the mini cable from right over here and it goes into the MIDI input the device. Hey everyone, I apologize because um, I recorded this part before but for some reason like my file got corrupted in my camera so uh, I just made another really quick sequence uh, but I'll show you how how I record it into Ableton. So I have a new project loaded up. I'm going to delete the MIDI tracks for now and now if you go to preferences you want your audio input device and output device to be connected. In my case, it's the Scarlett 2i4. Um, now, if you go to Link MIDI, you see the input track is on, output on, and sync on. All right. So, uh, so now. Okay. Now we're getting sound from the device, but I just want to record, um, let's say like my hi-hats on track one. Uh, so I'm going to arm the track right now and inside the track mutes, I'm going to mute everything except for the first track where I have my hi-hats on. So let me just press record. Now I like to record a little bit more than four bars so then I can just drag it and it'll be perfectly on um, the four bars. But in this case, I just made a two bar loop, but you can see how I record it in. So let me just do that for a second track. I'm just going to record the kicks. So I mute everything else except for the kicks. So then I go like this and for track number three, this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you that it's also possible to do it in the clip view. So I'm just going to record my snares in the clip view. So how you do it, you just arm the track and then afterwards 
you could just press record. Okay. And over here you can go into the clip view and you could just drag it to uh, for it just to be four bars. See? So now it's perfectly on the four bars. And uh, and yeah, that's that's how you track out your beats from the MPC 500 into Ableton. So let me know if that was clear enough for all of you. Uh, if you have any more questions regarding uh, recording your MPC 500 into your DAW, you can feel free to ask. Um, I like to, to explore the capabilities of this machine, and I think it's very capable. So, uh, so yeah, there are many more features, many more things to cover in the future. So with that being said, peace.